before I go to work today. What is today? December. December. Oh, look at that, you guys. Do you see what my watch just said? 10, 11. Look at that. Hold on. Oh, I just went to 10, 12. But you saw the 11 there, right? I was just trying to figure out what the date was. December 5th. Don't think that I cheated, by the way, and looked at my car clock, because my car clock is uh, a few minutes faster than my, um, than my, the real time. <laughs> One of those people that likes to trick myself and make the time go a little faster than, you know, make me, you do that. You set your alarm clocks, like, what, five minutes fast sometimes, don't you do that? Anyway, so today is, yes, Saturday, December 5th. It's my last day. They're shutting everything down again here in San Diego. So they're shutting my work down. Where am I turning to? I don't know how long we're going to be shut down for. 1 Corinthians 15, 33. Do not be deceived. Evil communications corrupt good manners. That's the King James Version. Let's read it from uh, New American Standard Version. 1 Corinthians 15.33. Do not be deceived. Bad company corrupts good morals. Bad company corrupts good morals. Um, the Jehovah's Witnesses Bible, because that's what I grew up in. 30 years of my life, Jehovah's Witness. We had a Bible translation called the New World Translation of the Holy Scriptures. That's what they called it. Their translation says, do not be misled. Bad association spoils useful habits. So I think all uh, three translations do a a pretty fine job. I have a um, new, uh, uh, I have an ESV, an English standard version somebody sent me as a gift. But it's not my car. I, I left it in my bedroom this morning and I didn't realize I left it at home until I uh, had already left this morning. It's kind of cool, you know, they, they're, they're, by the way, they're, just to let you know, uh, I just got done working out in an outdoor gym. My my gym opened up an outdoor facility, so hopefully they'll stay open. But as of tomorrow, I guess hair salons are closing all across San Diego. So my, the the owner of the hair salon I work at texted all of us in a group text this morning to let us know it was happening so anyway crazy stuff you guys we're we're close to the end of 2020 and this whole entire year I've been mentioning in many many of my videos uh, the word hearing hearing and maybe there are some people that don't get it you know but a lot of you do it was kind of a theme that the Lord gave me this, this year. And uh, there's a lot to, to why the Lord shared that with me personally. And when he gave it to me, I gave it to you guys because I asked him for a word for this particular YouTube channel, Ultimate Mordecai, with the number 11 after it. Um, faith comes by hearing. Hearing by the word of Christ or the Word of God. Some translations are different, but the Word of Christ is the Word of God. Did you actually know that the Spirit of Christ is the Spirit of God? I'll share that with you in a video someday. Maybe I'll... I really do hope that I get more Jehovah's Witnesses perhaps watching this channel maybe making more videos dedicated to Jehovah's Witnesses. I had a lot of videos before you guys dedicated to them because I, I was once one of them too. And I'm telling you, 
Oh man, how I wish to free people of condemnation. You know, coming out of the Jehovah's Witnesses religion or whatever religion or, or denomination you come out of, sometimes we think that Jesus saved us um, to give us correct theology or doctrine. He saved me to receive correct doctrine. And you know, in the beginning of, uh, of my journey with Christ, when I exited the Jehovah's Witnesses religion, I, I thought he kind of saved me to understand better doctrine as well. But it took me a lot of time It took me a lot of time and a lot of personal one-on-one -on -one time with the Lord and studying His Word and being convinced that His Word is truth, you know, because when you leave a religion that's corrupt, that's really corrupt and brainwashing, you might say that His Word's not truth, it's not His Word, it's man-made and all that, but trust me, you guys, I'm not religious anymore at all. You might think it's religious because I talk about Jesus or the Bible, but man... You don't understand. God speaks to us through that through that book. It's amazing when you go deep into it. It's not just a bunch of stories. And it's not a bunch of theology. And it's not about just a bunch of good morals. What to do, what not to do. What makes God angry and what makes him happy. The thing about it is... I'm learning more and more that it was Christ who set me free to give me his life, his life. And when I receive his life in me, when you receive his life in you, you're not condemned. You have to see yourself in Christ, in the son of God. Don't see yourself in the flesh. See yourself in the spirit. See who you are in, in, in you. And the more you start to see who you are in you, the more who is in you will come out of you. Do you understand that? You need to really see that. That's why faith comes by hearing, because on the outside, you can't see with your eyes who you are on the inside. Some people will say, well, yeah, I can tell who's a Christian by their good behavior and the way they talk and all that. Well... Listen, there's a lot of Jehovah's Witnesses that have excellent behavior and talk well. So if it's based on morality, you guys, then join the Jehovah's Witnesses religion. They, they will get you, um, in, they'll get your morality in line, trust me. And they'll make sure that your morals are great, unless you can hide really well. But the whole thing about Christ's life in you is... You'll know who you are as a son of God. Lots of Christians don't know this. Lots of Jehovah's Witnesses don't know this. They don't know that they are a beloved son of God. People will say, oh, I'm a child of God. Yes, I was created by God. You know, we're all children. Of no, it, sonship is so different, especially when you understand the word firstborn. You're in the firstborn, not the first created. Firstborn means it's a place of position right? Jacob and Esau. Jacob had the rights to firstborn, although he wasn't the firstborn. David. David had eight. There was eight of them total. He had seven brothers. David was the eighth, the last, the last son of Jesse, the youngest, but he was called the firstborn. It's a place of position. Listen. When you know who you are, and you start to understand this by seeing with your eyes of faith, not by your physical eyes, but your eyes of faith, and faith comes by hearing, right? This faith will come, will rise up out of you by what you are hearing, what you are receiving, what are you, you are feeding your mind with. When you are hearing, you are feeding your mind, your soul, do you understand that? You don't need to feed your spirit, I know you hear that all the time, feed your spirit with the Word of God. No, your spirit doesn't need to be fed with the Word of God because the Word of God lives inside of your spirit. So when you're feeding on the Word that is written, when you're feeding on this, you're feeding your soul, you're feeding your mind so that you can be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Romans chapter 12. Read verses 1 and 2 and understand these things.
you'll be transformed. Do you know that word transformed, metamorpho? Do you know it's the same word that you'll find, metamorpho, when Jesus was transfigured? The transfiguration of Jesus Christ, remember that? Well, you'll be transfigured by the renewing of your mind. Metamorpho, it means to change shape. Change shape, even, right? For instance, I believe the more you renew your mind, you'll see health, healing manifest through you, and you will also give that to others. That's what understanding who you are in Christ really is all about, you guys. It's not about just good morals and and preaching Jesus to everybody it, with your mouth. It's about doing the Jesus stuff. Delivering people from sickness. Getting sickness away from you and getting it away from others as well. Killing it at the root. Right? Even words that move mountains. Jesus says your words can move mountains, but they have to be done by faith. And it doesn't take a huge amount of faith to move to move a, a, a mountain it takes a tiny little bit of faith to move a mountain he said a mustard seed I guess they're very tiny seeds perhaps in Israel it was the smallest of seeds that's why faith comes by here this year this this word hearing is so important you guys for 2020 Because you've been hearing all kinds of different things, haven't you? You've been hearing about riots. You've been hearing about the coronavirus. You've been hearing about about all the deaths and all these bodies that are supposedly piling up all over the place because there's, there's no room to put these dead bodies of people. Coronavirus and all that stuff, and there's a lot of fear. Man, do you know? understand that creation, all creation is crying out. It is, it is desperately waiting for us. It is eagerly waiting for us. Expecting us, the sons of God, to show up. Did you know that? To show up. To manifest. To take what or who is in us and bring it out of us. Overflow it. Right? Like Jesus says, rivers that overflow, rivers of living waters that are inside of you, pouring out as an overflow. That is what creation is crying out for. What do we do about Corona? When's there gonna be a, a cure? When's there gonna be some some kind of a, a, um, of a, 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 what do they call that when you get a shot? Vaccination? When are they gonna come up with a vaccine? My friends, Christ is the vaccine. Do you understand that? Christ is the vaccine. You got Christ in you. We're supposed to be the vaccine. This isn't to condemn. This is to encourage. This is to help you to understand who you are. And I want to talk about, before I get to work, I know I haven't mentioned it yet, even though it's going to be in the title, maybe in the title. I was thinking in my head about like mirror, mirror 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 you know you hear that thing with mirror mirror on the wall mirror mirror do you, have you heard of mirror neurons i don't have time I'll, I'll i'll put the meaning of it in the description so if you want to know what mirror neurons are how they work I'll, I'll put it in the description box neurons these are the things that transmit thought in your mind right we have what's called neurotransmitters they transmit thought, neurons, neuro, neuro, transmitters. And then we have things called synapses in your brain. This is where those thoughts, it's like a stop sign, I was told. It comes to a stop sign, you might change a direction, the, neuro, the, 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 the neurotransmitter goes into a different direction than a different, like little, little pathways or roads in your mind. Mirror, mirror neurons, what supposedly they do is, like in animals, there's certain animals like parrots, 
parents will hear you say words and they will repeat them, right? Certain birds, uh, even primates, primates. There are like apes that will imitate people. They'll even, there's, there's, what was Coco? There was a gorilla, I think, named Coco. Was, was Coco a gorilla or a, some type of an ape, I think? But Coco knew sign language and could communicate with people through sign language. See, when Coco would watch people move their hands in certain ways, she learned communication skills. You know, well, I just read to you this scripture, bad association spoils useful habits. Let's just go with the Jehovah's Witnesses uh, uh, translation. So, you know, you can take it as well, hanging around the wrong people, watch who I associate with. Yeah, 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 you've heard it all. But what are we feeding our minds with? What are we allowing into our ear gate? Our eye gate. Do you understand? Our ear gate and our eye gate. What's going in there? If you believe everything you see on the news and they're instilling fear, you will reflect that fear. Do you understand a mirror reflects? Reflects. You know, when you look at 1 John 4, 17, it says, as he is, so are you in this world. They're talking about Christ. As Christ is, so are you right now in this world, on this earth. Not when you get to heaven, but in this world, on this earth. So do you understand? You have to see, spiritually speaking, with your spiritual eye of faith, if Christ Jesus was looking in a mirror at himself, your reflection would be there. Do you understand? As he is... So are you. So are you. You're a reflection. You're a mirror image of him. Do you understand that? Looking into a mirror. Mirror, mirror. On the wall. Jesus is looking into the mirror and there you are. Believe it or not. But you know, you, you're not thinking that because you're seeing with the physical eye. Instead of the spirit eye. Right? The spirit in you. The spirit isn't physical. The spirit is unseen. Right? That's why the spirit of God. Nobody's seen God at any time because he's spirit. He's unseen. God is spirit. Right? But what about Jesus? Wasn't he God on earth? How did people see him? Because that was the son of man that you were seeing, that 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 human, that 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 physical appearance, right? God was in him unseen, but the works of God manifest out of him. Those things were seen. Do you understand that? So we're trying to get our souls in our minds to be more like who we are in spirit. What you feed your mind and your soul, you will reflect that with behavior, with health, with, with thought. Is fear attacking your heart? Is fear attacking you inwardly? Are you causing yourself health problems by receiving what the enemy wants you to receive? Fear. You see, and that stuff's on the news like crazy. That stuff's not just on the news, but with many, many, many believers, because there's many believers right now, here in America, maybe throughout other parts of the world as well, that are terrified that maybe Donald Trump might have lost this election. And they're terrified of what's gonna happen if Joe Biden gets elected and the left takes control of everything, right? Now listen. We shouldn't be in fear. We shouldn't be in fear. Do you understand? God wants you. <laughs> Do you understand that perfect love casts out fear? And the more you feed on God's perfect love for you as a son, as a son of God, he loves you just as much as he loves Jesus himself. Do you understand that? No way. Yes way. In fact, he so loves you so much, he gave Jesus over to be executed and punished and beaten and to receive your sin in him. So that you could be set free, so that you could have sonship, so that you could be declared innocent. 
so that you would just receive his love for you. The Israelites, they didn't have Christ living in them. But he cared so much for them that when everything looked like they defeat, when they were right on the edge of what appeared to be defeat, no way out. There's no way out. This is it. We're right here. There's a big sea called the Red Sea in front of us. And Pharaoh and his armies are right behind us. We are trapped. This was a trap. God led us out here to really show us how much he couldn't stand us. He was disappointed in us and we are not his. Do you understand that God will sometimes allow us to go to that very edge so his perfect love can cast out that fear because then the sea opened up and they traveled through safely. And when the enemy came through to get them, the sea closed up on them. There's so much to that story that we could just receive today. See, how we associate with our thinking, what we watch, what we listen to, what we're hearing, we reflect that. Do you understand that? Like a mirror reflects an image. When truthfully, if we just go inwardly, faith takes you inwardly. And what you are hearing, are you hearing what God has to say? Or are you hearing what outer voices have to say? Right? Because you'll become more like what you are hearing because that's your eyes you guys that is your eyes your eyes of faith and faith comes by this hearing so what have you been hearing this year because we're ending this year you guys and we're going into 2021 and i'm believing that god's given me a word for 2021 well basically three words i got the word immediately suddenly which go hand in hand and then i also have the word ascension to go to a higher place, ascend, right? The highest place you could ever be is in you, Christ in you, seated in Christ, the highest of highs, right? And when you when you travel to that place, that means it's come, it just overflows out of you when your mind connects, when your soul connects to who you really are in the spirit and what you have. So that creation that is crying out for us, that is waiting for us to show up, Creation will say, aha, there's a son of God right there. Thank you. And we'll be like changing the very atmosphere. Anyway, so we really got to watch. What do we associate our minds with, right? What do we associate our ears, our eyes with, right? Because associating with that bad stuff, fear mongering and all that, it will spoil those useful habits. What's a useful habit? Healing the sick, raising the dead, casting out coronavirus, taking authority over this earth like God had intended in the first place for us to just spread his love, to spread his grace, right? To spread his kingdom. All right, you guys, I got to get going. I love you. I hope this message has blessed you. I'll see you all in the next video.